guys, welcome to our five-day beginner dance cardio program. My name is Maria, let's get started. So before you start exercising, I wanna make sure that you have a nice clear space free of any hazards, as well as, as access to a chair and your favorite dancing shoes. Okay, let's get into our warm up. Start off marching. And as you're marching, make sure you can have access to a chair if you need. Remember, throughout this whole exercise, you can modify anything and take any breaks that you would like throughout all the days we do. All right, now we're gonna roll our shoulders up and down our back away from our ears. Pull the crown of your head to the ceiling and you're gonna pull your belly button into your spine. So you're gonna feel like you're holding a grape in your core. Good job. All right, when we march, we're gonna start practicing counting. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's how we uh, count when we dance. So we're always going to count in counts of eight. And that's how you're going to always know um, how to get back into the movement. All right. So now that we've done our march, our posture is good. Let's do some step together. Nice. You can practice swinging those arms. You can also do this holding a chair. Good job. Just tapping that foot, you can snap. Or maybe clap. Just have fun with it. Maybe overhead. Good job. All right, back to marching. So now bring those legs still. We're just gonna do some arm circles forward. So bending the knees at the bottom, stretching as they come up. Good job. Just using as much range of motion as you have available to you. You can do one arm at a time if that feels better. Let's do three more. One, look up, follow those hands, two, and three and good job now we're going to roll those arms back using as much range that you can really warming up the joints good job three two one marching out all right our next exercise is going to warm up our feet so standing nice and tall, you're gonna point that foot to the front of the room. You're gonna slide it back. You're gonna point it to the side, slide it back. Um, roll through your feet, point to the back, bring it in, point to the side, bring it in. Let's do that one more time on this side, forward. Good job, pulling nice and tall through your body. Grab a chair if you need, side, back, side. All right, let's switch legs. Point forward, bring it in, side, point your foot to the back, pull it in, side. One more time, to the front, to the side of the wall, warming up those toes, back, and side again. Good job, let's march it out. Remember our good posture so we're ready for dancing. And as you're counting to eight and dancing, if you ever get lost, the best thing to do is to just bring it back to a march, count to the music, figure out where you're at, and then you can get into whatever movement from a march. Awesome, let's get into our first lesson. All right guys, let's get into our dance lesson. So starting off, you're gonna grab your chair and we're just gonna learn the steps. If you don't need the chair, don't feel like you have to use it, but have it available if you do. All right, this first lesson is gonna be the grapevine. So the grapevine looks like this. I'll show it to you first. You go step, behind, step, together. Step, behind, step, together. And most people like to add in a clap, but there's no need. You can also do it standing near, near your chair. So step, behind, just make it small. Together, step, behind, step together. So let's do it a few times together, really slow it down so we all know what the feet are doing. Okay, so you're gonna step to the side. You're gonna take your other foot, 
cross it behind. You're going to step out to the side again and together. Now you're going to take that inside foot and you're going to step to the other side. Take this foot, step it behind, step to the other side again, and then together. Then you're going to take that inside foot again. Side, behind, side, together, side, behind, side, together. Now it's really important if you feel like when you step behind, you get thrown off balance a bit, a good modification that you can do is to just step together. So you're going to step, together, step, clap, step, together, step, clap. There you go. So if we're going to count to eight, this is what it would look like. You're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. All right, so you can make that go faster. You can make it go slower. You just want to count to the beat of the music. And depending on what you're doing, if you're, let's say we're starting from a march, you can start off going to the left or the right first. So you're going to pick your downbeat in your march. It will be like this. So right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great, fine. Good job. We'll do a few more practice rounds. Remember, you can grab your chair if you need. And if you ever get lost, bring it back to a march like this. All right, now let's start with that left foot. So one, two, step down on the left. Five, six, seven, eight, go left. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good job. Awesome, bring it back to a march. Okay, let's go over this one more time all together and then we're set it to music. So let's go with the right. So step behind, step, clap, step behind, step, clap. Maybe you wanna hop if you're feeling really good. Maybe you wanna snap. Infinite ways, just add your own groove. Perfect, let's put it to music. In three, two, one. Hear it, there we go. Going one. There we go, downbeat on the right. Okay, we're gonna start off stepping with that right foot out to the side in five, six, seven, eight, go one. Good job. Feel free to slow it down. You can always go half time. Or make it smaller. Woo! All right, in three, two, one. We're gonna bring it back to marching, march. All right, now we're gonna do it stepping to the left first. So switch that lead leg to the left. Go one. Starting to the left, here we go. Go one. Good job. Have fun. Do what you want with your arms. Woo! March it out. Awesome job. All right, feel free to do this to your own music anytime you want and practice this step. i see you in the cool down. Okay guys, let's cool down. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure you have access to a chair and we're gonna use this for a balance throughout this cool down because you might get a little wobbly and you don't wanna fall over. Second thing before we cool down is you just wanna make sure that you always go to the point of tension, not pain. A stretch should feel like you're elongating the muscle. It might be a little bit uncomfortable. It might just be a little sensation, but it shouldn't be painful. If you ever feel pain, just come right out of that stretch and don't push it. 
All right, first stretch we're going to do is a standing quad stretch. What you're gonna do for this stretch is you're gonna reach down and grab your foot or the inside of your shoe, and you're gonna press your hips forward and grab onto that chair. Bringing your knee down to the floor, you should feel a slight stretch in your quadriceps. Remember going to your own ability and don't push it. If you can't reach your foot or heel, a really good tool to use is a tea towel and you're gonna loop it around your ankle and hold on to the end of that. All right, now let's breathe and hold. To help with balance, you can look at a spot on the floor that is not moving. Feeling your muscles elongate with each breath. And one more inhale and exhale. And you can slowly drop that foot or let go of your tea towel. And we're gonna repeat this on the other side. So either turning around or moving your chair to the other side of you. I'm just gonna try my best to balance, but you're gonna grab your other foot or that tea towel Point your knee to the ground and press your hips forward. Take deep breaths, feeling a point of sensation, not pain. Think of gently pressing your hips forward. One more inhale and exhale, drop that foot. Good job. All right, now we're gonna stand with our feet nice and wide, toes facing slightly out. We're gonna do a good side body stretch. So placing one hand on your hip, you're gonna reach your arm up over your head and to the other side. Now, when you're here, you're gonna wanna try and pull your arm back, but it's okay if it's more in front, just do your best and work with your range of motion. Lean to the side, stretch that top arm, feeling a side body stretch. You can look up at your elbow or down at the floor, whatever you prefer. If you need to have a chair here, do so. One more inhale and exhale, come up. Nice. Now we're gonna do our other arm, so reaching up and over to the other side, looking down or up at your elbow, feeling a nice side body stretch, really reaching those fingers. Good job. Deep breaths. And when you're ready, Come back up. Nice. All right, give those arms and legs a little shake. Now we're gonna do a hamstring stretch. So extend one foot out in front of you with your toes pointing up and your heel on the ground. You're gonna square off those hips, grab your chair, bend your supporting leg and send those hips back while you let your chest lean forward. Try and keep those shoulders down away from your ears. Try and keep a neutral spine so it's nice and flat. Deep breaths, you should feel a stretch behind that extended leg. Take a few breaths here with a straight back. And then you're gonna breathe in really deep. And exhale, allow your upper body to fall forward. You can swing that arm if you'd like. And when you're ready, Make your, roll your way back up to standing. Awesome, now let's do the other leg. So extending that foot out in front of you, pulling your toes up towards your nose, squaring off your hips, sending them back, grabbing a chair for support. So you're gonna start off with a straight back and go as far as you can so you feel a stretch behind that extended leg. 
keeping good posture. Bending your supporting leg deeply. All right, now big inhale and exhale. Allow your body to fall forward. Good job here. You can swing your arms. Maybe shake out your head a bit. Feel your muscle lengthening. And then slowly roll it up to stand. All right. Now our very last stretch we're going to do is a forward fold. So feel free to bend your knees as much as you need. You're just gonna let your upper body fall down to the floor. You can hold onto a chair if you'd like. And we're just gonna hang out there for a second. So here we go. Relax forward. Let your head fall, let those arms fall. You can bend your knees if you'd like. This is just supposed to be relaxing. Maybe swing back and forth a little bit. And then make your way to being still. And now slowly roll up, starting with your knees. Keep them soft, your hips, your back, your shoulders, your neck. Head is the last thing. Reach those arms up to the side. Look up to the ceiling. Reach your fingertips to the sky. Maybe do a little back bend. Come back forward and give yourself a high five. Great job today. You did awesome. I can't wait to see you tomorrow.